Let's begin with the first thing I see when I start my computer. I like to keep my desktop view clean and empty. Many people have tons of shortcuts on here, but all those colors and choices would distract me and make me tired. I've used this background image for over two years now and I still love it. The link to it is in the description. I've removed any clutter from the start menu and I've got my apps sorted alphabetically. I actually barely use the start menu though, mostly just for turning my device off. The taskbar is where all my shortcuts live. To create more space, I'm using the small buttons option. There's also a logic to their placement from left to right. It starts with browsing essentials, such as my web browsers and file explorer. Next to that, I have my productivity related apps, Todoist for my tasks and projects, Evernote Legacy for quick notes, my calendar, Google Maps, a screenshot tool, and a timer for focused work sessions. My laptop has a second screen, which is super handy for keeping the timer in my face while I do a focused work session. In the middle are all my communication related apps, such as Gmail, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Slack, and Discord. Discord is placed at the right as it kind of morphs into the gaming category, of which Steam is also a part. Check out this sick goal on Rocket League, by the way. From gaming, we go into another kind of entertainment with SoundCloud, YouTube, and VLC player for music, videos, and movies, respectively. Here, too, there is some conceptual morphing going on with Audacity and OBS Studio placed next to it for recording videos. And lastly, three Adobe apps for producing and editing the videos and thumbnails, Photoshop, Premiere, and Audition. Try thinking about the apps you use, which categories they fit into and place them accordingly. It's a small change, but it all adds up to a system that makes it easy for you to find what you need and get things done. Some of these apps are actually just web browser windows. You can turn any website into a standalone app by navigating to Menu, More Tools, Create Shortcut, and then checking Open as Window. Then you can move that shortcut into your taskbar. I've done this with Google Maps, Gmail, LinkedIn, SoundCloud, and YouTube. My system tray has some on-demand symbols that I usually don't need to see. The first one I always have on though is Todoist. It'll be there after starting the app for the first time via the taskbar. And for some reason, it opens up Todoist four times as fast. This is Iris, a smart tool that changes the brightness and color temperature of your screen to ease strain on the eyes. Lastly, I have my volume controls, my internet connection and battery life. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot, there's a VPN service which seems to be sponsoring every YouTuber except for me. So I'll hold off from saying its name until I'm worthy enough to become part of the <laughs> Sponsors Club. I mentioned space before. Thanks to a free tool called 7 Plus Taskbar Tweaker, I was able to condense items even more. For example, by removing the date, you're saving some vertical pixels. I used the Brave browser. It's fast, has built-in tracker protection, but retains all the functionality that Google Chrome has. To save space, my bookmarks are saved without a title. I can recognize what it is by the logo. For bookmarks I don't use as much, they're sorted by category, which also just have an emoji to convey their meaning. My browser extensions go from left to right based on importance. I tend to go left first, so that's where my most used extensions are, starting with the Todoist add-on. I use Todoist as my task and project manager and I have a full course on it, which also covers this extension if you want to learn more about it. The next four extensions are an email checker, a password manager, a dark mode switch, and an ad blocker. You can learn more about these and how I use them in my video dedicated to browser extensions. I can also control my VPN from here. There's an incognito window shortcut, which is useful if I need my cache cleared when testing changes on my website or to double check that a YouTube video I scheduled for later publishing is actually private until then. For thumbnail and web design, the Colorzilla extension is great as it can take a color sample anywhere on the web page and copies the color code for you. 
Wox allows me to quickly find files on my own machine, launch apps, or search the internet with various hotkeys. It's one of the reasons I barely use the start menu anymore. I just don't need it. If you're looking to declutter, organize, and develop fast digital workflows, here are three great places to start. I actually do this on a weekly basis to keep my setup from becoming a mess. Number one, uninstall any programs that you haven't used in over a month and you don't see yourself using in the coming month. Number two, clean out your desktop view and downloads folder. They'll be filled with miscellaneous files that often you won't need or that you can archive into a different place. Organize your cloud drive. I use Google Drive to store essential files. I often save invoices directly from Gmail into there, for example, but sometimes I forget to move it into the appropriate place. Moving everything into the right folder will help keep you organized and stay on top of things. Share your minimalist hacks in the comments so we can geek out over them together. Thanks for watching.